What's the best way for you to improve your chances of getting contacted by recruiters or people that are looking for people just like you? Well, stay tuned. What's going on, everyone? Uh, Josh here, and today I want to talk to you, just give you just a quick tip or two on LinkedIn, how to best utilize that. Um, I have a ton more information coming about LinkedIn when it comes to when we're, when we're putting my course together um, and, 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 and just making sure that your LinkedIn profile is amazing. Um, but, but today I just want to kind of give you one of the things that I, some of the main things that I see people doing wrong, okay? So um, here's the thing. I got my second job. On, by LinkedIn. I was contacted by a recruiter because I was keeping my LinkedIn profile up to date, which mind you, most people don't. Um, so I, I was keeping my LinkedIn profile up to date. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, constantly filling out projects that I did and stuff like that. Well, guess what? I got contacted by a recruiter for a job that was a perfect fit for me. And um, I want to show you some of the things that I think I've done well and and, and some, just give you a tip or two on, on how to better optimize your LinkedIn profile because you don't even know that people out there are actually looking for people just like you, but you've just never put the work into your LinkedIn profile. Well, I want to help you out today. Check this out. All right, so now we are here on LinkedIn and we are going through. Um, I want to show you a little bit about my profile, right? So first of all, um, I have my profile picture here. Um, I, want to, I want you to take a look at first. I guess I'll, uh, I want you to take a look at this profile and I want you to take a look at it compared to. So this is me, right? Some stuff, like some activity there. Um, here's my jobs and stuff. I have some licenses and certifications. I have some skills and endorsements. Um, I ha I've even passed in some LinkedIn assessments, all that stuff, right? And here's the things that I'm kind of interested in. Okay. So now um, I want to compare and contrast that to what most people's LinkedIn profile looks like. This is my friend MTP. Um, MTP apparently lives in Kansas and has never been educated for seven years. Okay. So, okay. So this brings me to my first point, man on LinkedIn, like just go ahead and post your stuff, man. Just like put your picture out there. Um, make sure you have a nice background. If you're in Salesforce, do what I did. I literally typed in, I went to Google and I typed in uh, Salesforce background or Salesforce LinkedIn background. And I went to images. I saw something that I thought was cool and I put it in the back uh, in the background of my LinkedIn profile. Simple, easy, didn't take me more than five minutes. Now, I think it's important that, um, I, and let's talk about your photo, right, for LinkedIn. Now, this is just a headshot that I had from when I went to school. And um, and these these headshots, they, they took this of me. It always turned out to be a good professional kind of looking photo. I liked it. I thought it was rad. So um, I, I just put it everywhere. Um, I have a new one, a new one that I can probably do. Um, and, and so LinkedIn is this, is this interesting mixture for me. Like there's a place where you're supposed to be professional and you're supposed to uh, only talk really about work related things, but there's also a place where people want to know you're a real person and you're, you're a human, right? Like just like them. And so I think there's a, you know, I think it's important to, to do that. Now I found this profile. This is a little crass. Um, this gentleman is, uh, he lives in Austin, Texas, uh, an empty profile and he is shooting a firework from his butt. Now I am okay with, I am okay with uh, you. Uh, I should probably get that off the screen now. But I'm okay with you showing off your personality on LinkedIn. Amazing. But hey, LinkedIn is a professional framework, so do it in a way that's semi-professional. Um, you know, Gary V, uh, one of the kind of entrepreneurial role models of the day, right? Uh, would say, hey, just be yourself on LinkedIn, and um, and I'm pretty sure he curses and does all that stuff on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm totally for being yourself and I'm totally for, uh, you know, doing, doing that. Um, but Hey, let's, let's not put, it's just a bad idea. Right? Right? Man, you got to know that those sparks came back at him. Right? Or, whew. Okay. Anyways, let's get back to this. So here, here's my LinkedIn profile. Um, one of the things that I'm really proud of is my about section. So I've done this too long. Didn't read section, right? Hey, um, I'm a Dev One certified Salesforce developer who loves lighting web components and making things beautiful. That's that's what I love to do. That's what I love. That's what my passion is. I love making Salesforce look feel as less uh, as little sterile as possible. I love it feeling lively and bright and fun and um, and interesting. And I love you know icons and. 
colors and all that stuff, right? So that's what I love to do. Um, so here's what I did. I, I was able to, you see, you see this about section? This used to be my whole about section, except for without the TLDR, okay? Um, so what I did was I took my past experiences and I told a story with it. And this is why this is so important. Um, so I, I think I just want to read this with you, right? So I remember I was about 15. My life was engulfed in school video games. I saw this documentary of people who were building these digital experiences. And in my head, I thought, I want to do that thing with those kinds of people. By the end of high school, something else caught my heart, helping people. So I dedicated 10 plus years of my life to serving my community through my church. Now I get to combine my head. No, notice I noted I loaded I I put my head here and then I have my heart here. So now in this third paragraph I said now I get to combine my head and my heart by building amazing amazing digital experiences and serving people who are in the tech community. I build amazing experiences by making Salesforce more beautiful. I love and specialize in building Lightning Web components. I want you to notice in this section what I do here um, and building Lightning Web components. LWCs that can do almost anything. Aura components, visual fa visual force pages, custom dashboards, gorgeous community cloud, experience cloud implementations. That's my cup of tea. Um, so I'm telling a story here uh, and I'll, I'll kind of break it down in a second. I also love making life easy and fast by writing triggers that, that save time. Apex that blows minds and serving users of all kinds. Hey, that rhymes. A little humor. I don't know if that's funny or not. I just put it in there. Whatever. I serve people by being one of the co-leaders of the Google Development Group and RAD, Reading Area Developers and Designers, our local tech meetup. I launched and led my local Salesforce community trailblazer meetup. Okay, here's the thing. Oh, and then just a little bit about me, right? I love laughing with my team, mentoring people, real estate, mountain biking, and moving the mission forward. Great. So this is my, this is my section. Here's how LinkedIn works. LinkedIn works by people. They, there's actually a tool that's used by recruiters where they will type in keywords and these keywords hit your section, uh, hit your LinkedIn profile. My LinkedIn profile has all these keywords that are related to the areas that I'm working in. Do you see it says Aura components? Do you see it says Visual Force pages? Do you see it says LWCs? It, says, it spills it out too, Lighting Web Components. Um, it says Apex, Writing Triggers. Um, do, do you see all how my how my section here is packed full of keywords? But wait, there's more, right? Like if we scroll down here in my experience, I also have custom dashboards, Lightning Web Components. Um, here I have uh, fixing bugs. Uh, oh, I need to rewrite this section. Looks like actually, I need I need some more stuff in there. Um, I talk about my platform developer. I, there's a way to put your platform developer in your license and certification section. Just do a Google search for that. That's how I found out about it. Um, skills and endorsements. I have all these skills. Um, you see these, you see these little blue, blue badges here. These mean, um, these mean that I, I have taken a LinkedIn assessment that asked me some general knowledge questions and I passed them. What does that mean? That means to people, oh, he actually knows his stuff. Um, also in here, these are also Lightning Web Components here. I also have HTML, HTML5, I have GitHub and Git, and Salesforce Lightning, and Visual Force Pages, and SQL, and Apex Programming, and Aura Components, and Certified Salesforce Developer. Like all these things, these are all keywords. So what you have to do is your LinkedIn is actually kind of like your own little website. And it's and LinkedIn is sort of like the Google of, ser of job searchers. They'll go in and just like you would do a Google search to find something that you need, like you will also go in and um, you'll also go in and check out this, um, you, you'll be able to put, um, I'll see, look, I have an endorsement here from, from one of my buddies. So, um, these, these endorsements here and these, these things, these are keywords that your the recruiters are actually looking for. So when they type something in your profile shows up, why? Because you have lightning web components written seven times. You have Aura components written five times. You have apex written four times. Now don't just do it the dumb way where you're kind of like just stuffing keyword after keyword after keyword. That's not what I'm talking about. What did you see that I'm telling a story here? This feels natural. If you read through my, if you read through this, um, you're going to see that this feels natural. This is easy. Um, and, and this is something that, that, that can really, um, help people 
find you. So if you're wondering, you know, uh, in some of my videos, I talk about this idea of hunting for a job versus fishing for a job. This is fishing. This is all bait for people to find to find what I'm talking, to find the kind of person that I am, to find the person that they're looking for, find me, I am that person that they're looking for, and then they're gonna reach out to me. I have, I get messages from recruiters all the time. Um, now notice, I mean, just to be frank and real with you, like if you're a dev and you have experience, you're probably experiencing the same thing. Um, but but I'm here to tell you that if, th if that's what you want to happen to you and you want other people to find you on LinkedIn, then what you got to do is you, you got to you make sure you write, you figure out this adult, this about section is really packed with stuff that you want people to see. This, uh, this section, which I forget what it's called, kind of like your tagline section is, um, is also talks about what you want. Uh, make sure that you have your experience has keywords in it and is, and is readable by a normal human. Um, and then also make sure your skills, licenses, and endorsements all have that information that you need, okay? So that's a little bit about LinkedIn, a little bit about how to stick out. Um, there's way more information in the course that's coming up, um, but but I just wanted to give this to you because I, I really care about people finding tech jobs. So if you enjoyed that and you enjoyed the channel, um, then, then please like and subscribe to this channel. I think we're gonna have um, a great time together as I help you kind of grow your career. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for checking in.